In this video, we are going to discuss about remote data objects in Visual Basic. The topics are to be covered RDO introduction, RDO hierarchy, establishing a connection, executing SQL statements, and using RDO to insert, update, and delete the records from the database. First, we have to know what is RDO. The definition of RDO is it is a data access application programming interface. It are uh, used in Visual Basic applications and Windows 95. Laterally, uh, operating system Windows 10, uh, Windows 11, Windows 9.8. These versions. Uh, this is also including a database connection, queries, stored procedures, result manipulations, and change commits. The steps to be followed uh, for uh, creating an audio connection. First, we have to select the reference from the Visual Basic project menu and the dialog box will be appear to us and select the mic Microsoft Remote Data Object 2.0 from the list. So we have to select the Remote Data Object 2.0 from the uh, appeared dialog box. Okay. Then click OK. Uh, after that, the Remote Data Object will be available in the application, that particular application. So this is uh, remote data objects hierarchy how the, uh, this diagram illustrate the RDO uh, hierarchy first RDO engine and RDO error RDO environment RDO connection RDO query RDO column RDO parameter from the RDO query okay and RDO result set from the RDO connection uh, RDO column also inserted in result set and RDO table so the table contain audio column the next parameter is audio prepared statement so this is containing audio column and audio parameter so this is the uh, full hierarchy of audio that means remote data object the steps to be followed to access the database through the audio so how we uh, access the database through the RDO the steps uh, should followed first we uh, we must use create an RDO connection object to the database uh, we should establish the connection through the this RDO connection object okay after the connection is established and the database is opened once the connection is established the database will be open the user can execute XQuest statements and stores the procedures against the DB. So the user, we are uh, we are the user, we can execute the ex SQL statements and store the procedures uh, in the DB database, okay, after the establishing the connection. And the results are returned in RDO result set object. So here one object is used here, RDO result set. Uh, this contain the methods and properties of that particular result set okay so first we need to establish a connection by using the audio connection object and the result will return the audio result set object okay the user can access the records edit them and save them so here uh, we can execute SQL commands right so we can edit those records and save them so establishing connection so how we establishing connection with vb with along with the database means we have to write an a query in vb set connection is equal to environment dot open connection uh, this is a uh, third we should uh, write write continuously okay open connection and ds name prompt actually read only and connect options so in the square bracket these are optional so we don't uh, have to write necessary if there is necessary means we can write here those options connections right like that okay so the above mentioned syntax is used to establishing the connection to the database in the oracle so if we are using oracle with vb means uh, this query will be helpful to establishing connection with vb in the syntax of open connection method having a seven parts 
one is connection environment ds name it's nothing data source name and prompt read only connect options so these uh, these seven parts are used in that particular open connection query in vb next executing sql statements so executing sql statements we should write this query uh, first set rs rs means record set is equal to rdo conn means connection rdo connection dot open result set method okay we here we are using open result set method okay in the parenthesis we are using name and type log type and options so so name is record set name and which type and log type are the one option so this is how we executing sql statements in vb next using rdu to insert update and delete records so uh, here we are using rs delete and rs update rs dot close so that means record set delete record set update record set close so record set can be inserted and new record set so here we can uh, insert new records through the rs update okay next existing records can be modified if uh, there is uh, already we have in record means if we need to modify some changes in particular our uh, existing record so we can use rs update and rs close is using to record set close that means that overall record set will be close okay and unwanted records can be deleted means we can use rs dot delete so this is our dbo connection uh, in the vb with the oracle okay so hope you all understand the concept thank you